Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of one variable equations. This is standard 8.8c .8 in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a model here, a little picture, and we've got some x's and some ones and some negative x's and some negative ones. So we need to just figure out which value of x makes the equation true. We could guess and check, but I think writing an equation and solving for that variable is going to be a lot easier. So let's do that. Let's see if we can figure out what each of these sides equals. So looking on this left side here, there are how many negative x's? One, two, three. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add those up, negative x plus negative x plus negative x, and that's going to be negative 3x. So that's how we kind of represent with these pictures uh, a coefficient in front of an x. We just see how many x's are there. And so these look like positive ones because they're negative on the other side. How many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of five, that's 10. So this is what we're looking at here on the left side. So this is negative 3x, and that's a positive 10. All right, so other side, we've got positive. we got 5x's. And then we've got negative over here, so we're going to subtract 8. And so we've got a negative 8 minus 8, and there we go. That is our equation. We've got one variable, but it's on both sides. So let's isolate that variable. And so what we want to do is we want to do the same thing on both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. Always want to get the variables together first, and always, if possible, try to keep the variables positive. It's going to save you from having to multiply by negative 1 at the end. So let's add 3x to both sides. Remember, you could do that as long as you do it to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. And look what we're going to get here. Negative 3x plus 3x, that's the inverse, right? So that cancels itself out. We're good. So that's 10 equals now. We've got 8x minus 8. All right, since my variable's on the right side of the equation, I need to get rid of that minus 8. So I'm going to do the inverse operation. I'm going to add 8. But if I do it there, I've got to do it to both sides of the equation. So that's going to cancel itself out. That's a 0. And so I'm looking at 8x equals 18. So then I need to isolate by using the inverse operation. If it's 8 times x, let's divide by 8. So 18 over 8 is going to equal x. Let's see. That's going to equal 9 over 4. That's going to be a, um, a mixed number here. And so that's going to be 4 goes into 9 twice. All right. Decimal. It's going to be 2. There we go. All right. 20. That's 2.25. So x is going to equal 2.25. And you know what we could do? I just want to verify that. So let's let's plug this back into here. So negative 3 times 2.25. So what is that? So that's going to be negative 6.75 plus 10. And so that is going to be 3.25 equals 5x. So that's 5 times 2.25. So that's going to be 11.25 minus 8. And look at that. There we go. Equals 3.25. All right. Doesn't hurt to plug it back in. So when you get into your mathematics chart, remember you've got a little decimal right there. Four digits to the left, two to the right. And so we're going to just put it right there. 2.25. You don't need to bubble in any zeros or you don't need to bubble in the positive or negative on the right, on the left side.